line did a great job. The guys are great back. We had a field day out there today. And I think it just all comes down to having fun and executing. That's what we did out there. We didn't, you know, we didn't have our hands down at any moment in the game. No matter what the score was. So, at the end of the day, we played this game and had fun. And that's what we did. No, I mean, I go into, like last year, you know, I went into every game knowing that we got the best O line. The first two games I was here, we got the best O line in these past two games. You know, we got five grown men out there that, you know, they could be in the NFL tomorrow. So, I mean, I, I, I give them all the praise and I'm just, you know, just proud to be running the ball behind. Oh, you know, it's it's not just me, it's the O line. You know, they, they, they help, you know, boost my performance. Um, you know, without them grinding, you know, just getting to the second level, third level, you know, my. Them runs wouldn't have been 50, 60 yards, you know, they've been 5, 10 yards. So, you know, I'm so grateful for them to take them out to dinner this week. I'm just having a different, different purpose, you know. Um, you know, being back, you know, just looking back on them. Four weeks I was gone, you know, I, was, I had the time to reflect on the decision um, I made. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're still I'm so proud I did it, but I'm also proud that, you know, I got the call to come back. I'm, you know, I'm happy to be with my family, going out there, going to war with these guys. And you know, we're just going to keep the ball. I, mean, I think we had a great, great week of preparation. I think the message we got across Monday uh, when we shift gears towards UCLA was uh, we're going to win this. We're going to win this game in the trenches. Uh, they had a great front seven, a uh, great D line, but uh, we prepared the way we needed to prepare and uh, show tonight. I think his whole mindset is different, man. I mean, I'm not saying that his, his mindset was bad when he uh, started the season, but he's running with purpose. You know, every time uh, he hits those holes, man, he does it. Does it true? I guess I don't, I don't know what to say, man. That's a that's a great running back. Talk to him all the time. I think he set a new uh, school, school record. record. Yeah, actually, boy, you set a new school record. Actually, I think he's rushed for more yards than any FBS back this year. Was it mean to be a part of that kind of performance? Hey, man, we just do our job in the trenches. Win the trenches, win the game. And, uh, Joe did a great job, and the whole team. This, this is a team win. You know, this isn't a one guy win. This is a team win. Uh, we're gonna enjoy this, man. The storyline of the game is the offense. Uh, you know, how to move the ball, how we kept answering every time we saw the score, we answered. And uh, just a great performance. Joe Williams, how about the defense? He was on uh, pitch count, he was not going to get to 30 carries, so he held him to 29. <laughs> and uh, he got, what, 300 and something yards. And so uh, I can't say enough about that young man and what, what he's meant to our team the last two weeks now. And what a blessing it is for us to have him back. And how unselfish it was for him to come back. He's, it was legitimate. He, when he stepped away, he was hurt. And so. Good for his teammates. He's an unselfish guy. Uh, return and uh, we just we made it to have back. So right now. well, he did have a month off to kind of heal up and uh, you know get some of the soreness out of his body. But uh, well, he just he's re rejuvenated. I, I don't have a great answer for it other than you know he's he's not feeling perfect. I can tell you that he's still he's still uh, got some things to heal. But uh, thank you. Know, but uh, he's, you know, he's, he's what, 50. Three carries in the last two weeks. So that's a, a huge workload for him. Well, it's awesome. I mean, we've got some really good running backs come through here and play against some inferior teams that haven't been able to rack up the yard that you're not here in the Rose Bowl. There's no inferior teams in the Rose Bowl. But, uh, and, and to say that he's the, broke the record of all time, I mean, we've had a bunch of guys in the NFL running backs that have done a lot of great things. And so to run, uh, you said it's a good defensive team. They came in here with really good defensive numbers. So to, uh, to have Joe do that, and it's credit to the old line. It's not just Joe Offert's line. Working the tails off tonight for the Saturday. Uh, we had enough throw game to keep him honest. You know, last year, year, last couple of years, were a little too one-dimensional. We weren't able to uh, open up the running lanes because we didn't throw the ball efficiently. Now we're we'll throwing the ball with much more efficiency, which is opening up the uh, running lane. No, not, there was no any individual match. I think our offensive line just played well together. They got some big, guys, big kids up front. Some big, you know, some the Vanderbilt's kids are really big kids, the kid that plays next to them. So they got some physical guys, the ends are physical. It was just our offensive line working as a unit. And that's uh, it's great to see. That's that's how our, our offensive line, that's how, that's how we envisioned those guys would be able to be coming into the season without their own one of the federal lines in the back row.